In this exercise, we will be creating content pages. After this exercise, we will have created the Livingston Life blog site, as well as several content pages using fragments and widgets. In this exercise, we will be taking the following steps. First, we will create the Livingston Life site. Then we'll create a home page for the Livingston Life site. And then we'll create a contact us page, as well as a latest page for the site. And then we'll add blog entries to the Livingston Life site. After this exercise, there will be some bonus exercises that I won't be going through, but that you can try for yourself. This includes creating a new blog entry about a must-see attraction in your area, for example, a theme park, a restaurant, a museum, and so on. You can add your blog entry to the latest page of the Livingston Life site. You can also try adding a new content page to the Livingston Life site for featured blog articles. Be sure to add a banner for the page as well as a method to display the blog entries. But with that, let's get into the exercise. In this exercise, we will be creating content pages. And so I'm starting off on my homepage of Livingston Hotels and Resorts, signed in as my admin user, Josiah Copeland. So first, we'll be creating the Livingston Life site. We'll open the global menu from the top right. We'll find Control Panel. Under Sites, Sites. Here, we're going to click the Add icon to add a site. And we'll choose a blank site for the site template. And we'll name the site Livingston Life. We'll hit Save. And under a membership type, we'll scroll down and find Open. And we'll change this to Restricted. We'll click Save to persist these changes. Now we'll be creating a home page for the Livingston Life site. So from the Site Administration panel, we'll find this in the top left. We'll find Site Builder, and under this, we'll click Pages. Here, we see that we have no pages yet, and so we'll click Add to create a new public page from the dropdown. We'll choose blank for the page template, and then for the name, we'll type Home. We'll click Add. Now on the right side of this, we can find Fragments and Widgets. So we can expand this menu, and then we'll find the banner cover center fragment. Under featured content, we'll drag this onto the page and you can see the box highlight blue. Now we'll drag a content display fragment on the page beneath this banner. So we'll find this under content display and drag it down here. Finally, we'll drag a content ratings fragment on the page under the content display. So now our site should look somewhat blank, but it should look like this. We have the banner cover. We also have the display as well as the ratings. Now we'll have to configure the banner fragment. So we'll click the banner cover center on the front of the page. And then we'll find the selections, and so we'll find the image tab towards the bottom. Now here, for the background image, we'll click Select. And we'll choose Yoga JPEG from your exercise folder from the upload. Now we can click Add. And now we see that our image has been uploaded as the background image. Now we'll click the 01 title in the selection panel up here. We'll double click this highlighted box. And then we'll delete this placeholder text and replace it with Welcome to Livingston Life. Now we'll also replace the subtitle. So we'll click the O2 subtitle. We'll double click the highlighted text. We'll delete the placeholder text and replace it with begin your journey towards a life worth living. Like so. Now we'll create a blog post. So after publishing this page, we'll go to site administration. We'll find content and data and then blogs. From here, we'll click Add. 
And then here we'll click select file to upload. And then within the drag and drop, we'll have to click select file again. And we'll choose travel blog from our exercise folder. We'll click add to add this file up. And then we'll name the title The Wild North. For the subtitle, we'll call this My Six Month in the Alaskan Wilderness. For the content, we'll copy and paste the text from the wildnorth.txt file in your exercise folder. So I'll find this right now. Copy it. I'll paste it here. And then with this, we can publish our blog post at the very bottom with the publish button. So now we'll configure the content display fragment. So we'll find the site administration panel, which is open for me on the left right now. We'll find site builder and click pages under it. We'll then find the home page and we'll click the options icon right next to the home page button. From here, we'll find edit to edit this page. And we'll scroll down to find our content display fragment, which is over here. And we see on the right side under the general tab, a content display with a blank box. So we'll click the add button to select the content. And then we'll go to our blogs tab, which is what we had just made. We'll choose the wild north. And so we can see our blog post on here now. And now we'll click publish. Now we'll create a contact us page for the Livingston live site. So this navigated us back to site builder pages, but if we're not already there from the site administration panel, we can open up site builder, click pages to navigate to this view. Now from here, we're going to click the add button on the top right. We'll choose a public page. And then we'll choose the blank template again. For the name, we'll type contact us. Now we'll click the fragments and widgets icon from the right sidebar again. And we'll drag a banner cover center fragment onto the page. This is under featured content. We can drag the banner cover center. Now we'll also drag a grid layout element. So this is near the top and we'll drag this under the banner cover center. So we see this. Now we'll drag a paragraph component onto the leftmost section of the grid. So we'll find paragraph under basic components and we'll drag this into the leftmost section. Now we'll navigate to the widgets section of the fragments and widget. And we'll drag and drop a form widget into the center section of the grid. And then finally, we'll click the empty section of the grid. And then we'll choose two for the number of modules in the section to remove the extra section. Open the drop down and change it to two. Now we'll configure the banner fragment. So we'll click the banner cover center on the page. And in the selection panel, we'll scroll down to find where we can select the image, so the background image, and we'll click select. We'll choose select file, and then we'll upload the contact us banner. We'll click add to upload this. Now we'll click the 01 title section in the selection panel. We'll double click this so that we can replace the text, and we'll replace this with contact us. Now we'll click the O3 link in the section panel. We'll double click the highlighted box. We'll delete the placeholder text and we'll type submit a request. So it should look like this. We'll capitalize the R as well. Okay. Now we'll create a contact form for the contact us page. So clicking publish to save, we'll go to the site administration, 
in the top left, we'll find content and data, and then we'll find forms underneath. From here, we'll click the add button from the top right. And in our form, we'll drag and drop a text field onto the drop zone. Here, we'll change the label to say name. And then we'll change this to be required by clicking the slider for required field. Now we'll click the back icon from the right sidebar so that we can drag in another text field. For this, we'll change email. We'll make this required as well by clicking the slider. Click back and we'll publish this. So now we'll configure the grid elements for the contact us page. We'll find the site administration from the top left. We'll open up site builder and click pages underneath. Next to the contact us page, we'll click edit from the options dropdown. And we'll scroll down to the bottom of the page to find the paragraph component. We're going to replace this with the contact us text from the contact us.txt file in our exercise folder. So I'll open that up for us. Copy this in here. Paste this. Now we'll find the form element from the right side. From here, we'll find the options and we'll click configuration. And we'll choose our untitled form just now. We'll click save. We'll close the pop up. And we'll see that our contact us form has been loaded onto the page. So now with these changes, we can click publish. Now we'll create a latest page for the Livingston Life site. So from the site administration panel, site builder pages, which is what we have in front of us right here, we'll click the add button. We'll choose a public page, a blank page template, and then we'll type latest for the name. Now from here, we'll open up the fragments and widgets from the right sidebar. And we'll click on the widgets tab. We'll drag and drop an asset publisher to the page. Now we'll click the options icon for the asset publisher. We'll click configuration. We'll find the source tab. We'll expand this. And for the asset type, we'll change this from any to blogs entry. We'll find save at the bottom and we'll click it. We'll close the pop-up. And now we'll click publish. So when we go back to the latest site, we should see the new blog post that's published here.